There we go. Um, the eagle-eyed amongst you will have noticed, and if you haven't noticed, I'll point it out because there's no harm in it. If you look down there, you will see that originally I had thought I was going to fall that tree that way. But, oh, excuse me, horsefly. Um, when I actually felled this one down, it was quite obvious then that there was more, far more of a lean on this one than I thought. So I had the choice of fighting um, and trying to wedge it over. There's no breeze, it's very still. Um, if I had to, then well, then you would have done. But there's enough, uh, there's enough to do without struggling on every tree. So I decided there was a, a reasonably clear spot here. I nipped a couple of bits and pieces. And uh, like I say, that was why that dead one there that was tied up in this, as you can see, it went over as one. That's why I had to recut that. Um, and I made sure that I was the, well away from it, just in case anything dropped out there. Um, as you can see, uh, again, allowing the tree, get the hinge. It's essential to have that hinge for safety and the initial control. But once that started to go, um, you know, not a whole lot's going to happen. Uh, so it went right, it, it rolled off the stump nicely, went into the hole there, and as you can see, um, there's, you know, there's no collateral damage, there's no dangerous pieces of tin hanging up in the crown, or the, sorry, the canopy, uh, waiting to cause damage to the machine or me, me more importantly. So it's like everything else, it's a lucky old place, but just take your time and assess things have a real good look uh, you, you shouldn't have any problems come up fire fairly high on the stump there um, which the back of it looks awful it looks like I, I haven't bothered to bend me back at all but if you look at the front here the buttresses there um, they're quite they're quite substantial aren't they so uh, the whole thing being there that if I cut down into that now the argument is especially in a short bar you, you'd cut down here uh, you know, you'd cut down and in and step it. Um, the mill wouldn't thank you for that. They don't want that buttressy timber at the bottom. It only causes problems for them. Um, and it just, it's hardship for everyone. And it's not good product, to be honest. So it looks like I've come miles up in the sky, but there is a very good reason for it. Okay, as you can see, I've been working away here. The machine's just out having a service at the moment, so he'll be in soon. So I'd better get my skates on and uh, get this done. Uh, sorry if the sound is a bit off. I said I wasn't going to use the phone anymore, um, but I thought this was worth doing just for the sheer hell of it. So I apologize if there's any sound difference on this. Uh, bear with me, it, it won't happen again. Thanks now.